What are you doing with these candles? We gotta get some of this. These are heavy, man. We gotta get some of this weight out of the trailer. These are the ones you that- too much weight. I, these are the ones that I, um, they were in the Smith Island, oh. the bakery, and took, I mean, there's so many nice candles. I was just gonna list them all on eBay, you know? Yeah. But where did you, where did you just get these from? The trailer. Was... My fire starter. You know how long I was looking for these? Yeah, and they're covered up. You put them in the trailer. Dang. Oh my gosh, we had them the whole time. Ooh, we got fire starters. These are the most awesome <laughs> fire starters, and I'm so glad that I found them. These things will burn for freaking, I mean, inter interesting. We can see how long they burn, but huh. I am so glad I found them. We got us a new tent for the woods. We got us a big old uh, tarp, 16 by 30 to go over top of it. Got and, us some ugly sticks. Yeah, we got us a couple of new ugly sticks. Hi, Mike. And now and we need a new and that's fishing rod for Oh, you, you have another fishing Not rod this for one, us. no, he's not messing this one up. No, I'm saying we need one that he he's can gotta, practice with. Yeah, he'll use this one when we're actually fishing because he just messed up his I, new one. We'll get him another play one, I guess, to practice with, but he broke that thing There's fast. nothing like chicken flavored, whatever, noodle cups. <laughs> we bought a couple cases of those just for hard times. Just add hot water, you know what I mean? What else we got in here? I'm trying, a lot of this canned food, I want to actually tape up in boxes. Take these candles, actually tape them up in boxes. I want all this freaking neat. This is, I am a neat freak and this disaster drives me insane when I'm trying to come in here and get something. Uh, Holly's the opposite. What, huh? what? I'm a neat freak and all this disaster drives me insane. You're just like, yes. I am the messy one. Let's go, there, let's I go, said it. let's go dig through everything. I just said it on camera. I am the messy one. You'll take it out. <laughs> so we got these four buckets that have some food. Um, two of them have like huge bags of rice, um, different kinds of beans, just stuff that'll last for a long time. And then there's just other stuff. <clears throat> and then we have like bags of canned food. I want to put these, I want to put a lot of this canned food just in boxes like neatly. But here's a bunch of stuff we kind of been stocking up on um, coffee, ramen, canned food, potatoes, a lot of tuna, just other stuff like chicken, sausages, just, just are these chicken, chicken. And but the the sucky thing about canned food like this. This is basically poison. It's all, most of the stuff you get out of cans, it's genetically modified. It's kind of like, uh, and laden with MSG. what's the uh, movie? What's the movie you say every time that Q's talking about? Think about Snow White? Yeah, Snow White. Yeah. We're thinking that's what Q, the site, is kind of talking about is Snow White when he talks about that. Basically, they're poisoning, they're poisoning your food. And it's not fear mongering, like you can 100% prove it. I mean, why, if genetically modified stuff causes cancer, why are they putting it in your food? You know, and not only that, I mean, if you read the ingredients on some of this food and actually Google it and see what's in it, you'd be shocked. You know, it's insane. So, what is this? This is Joanne. Office max yep. and uh, that last place with all the spatulas that was Ollie's. Ollie's. Mm -hmm. So, this is Joanne's Office Max and Ollie's score. So, um, a couple <clears throat> people wanted to see exactly what the blankets looked like, so I'm going to do this as like, quick as possible. Thank you, Mom. Um, we found, I believe, we found four blankets two sided. So, each, each blanket has a side that matches it. This is the Aladdin Jasmine blanket. And then it comes with this as the double-sided blanket. 
So that is blanket number one, Aladdin and Jasmine. And these are all pretty, I mean, they're, they're very soft and they're like oversized, you know. This one is the, um, the rebels, the, the queens that are bad rebel queens. <laughs> so you got Ursula, uh, I don't even freaking remember their names. I don't know either. And the puppy killer. I can't remember their names. And it says, what's that say? Uh, break rules. Break, break the rules. Man. Break rules, man. So it's the evil queen. So when the government tells you to stay in your house, <laughs> you tell them to go F themselves. And you go outside. <laughs> and that one comes with, nope, that's Harry Potter. Here it is. That one comes with, it just says stuff. That's the other side of it? Yeah. Total chaos, vicious. Oh, Lord. Danger. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> the, <clears throat> the evil queen blanket. Good Lord. And then we got the Harry Potter. Harry Potter is actually pretty cute. Yeah. I'm not really into Harry Potter, but it's pretty cute. You got Harry Potter and Hermione. Dang. And that redheaded kid, I don't know, can't remember his name. You asking wrong person. <laughs> I don't know either. Yeah. And then that one comes with <sighs> the Grayback Hogwarts and little witch hats, whatever. And then the Cinderella one. So it's Cinderella and Prince Charming. It says her, I can't read upside down. Can't her prince. It. Her prince and his princess. So yeah. we found 70 candles. Oh, you counted them? Yeah. Actually 69, I'm being really dramatic. Dang. 69 candles. We need to put those neatly in a box. So they don't get broke and yep. all that stuff. And um, so I'll do that in a minute. I'll start sticking them in a box. I'm gonna box those up. We have this, which is really cute. The little, um, I mean, it comes with all the yarn, all different color yarn, and the instructions. And then this, this is just yarn that I guess is just extra. It's just extra yarn, so I guess we could do like a little yarn box or something. And people were asking what this stuff was. This is what we found in the Joann's box. Uh, it looks like it's um, scrapbooking stuff, stamp set, cherry blossom scrapbooking paper, which is really cute. Elion, be easy with that. Break our new fishing rods already. Really cute paper for scrapbooking. All right, so all this is all just random scrapbooking stuff. You got um, precision die set, so it's a. What are those like stickers? These are stamp stamp set. Oh, I'm. That's I got pretty cool. Thirty one beautiful festive stamps. Oh, another, another cherry blossom. So these are just awesome. Another stamp set, more, um, it just comes with stickers and paper. And let's see, tumbler, tumbler templates. Hmm. So I think I'll just put that in a, uh, a little scrapbooking little scrapbooking box so we got a little yarn <clears> thing <throat> scrapbooking box blankets oh and let's talk about the sculpto too so we looked this up and everything is actually in here i don't know i feel like maybe somebody bought it and returned it because times are tough now but everything is in here yeah um it's like it's it's like brand new so um it is a 3d printer uh it even comes with little spools of 
plastic or whatever it is that it prints with. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, I opened it up. Everything was in there, still in the, in the styrofoam and everything. Like, so for some reason they threw away a brand new 3D printer, and I have no idea what to do with it. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could sell it for a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, Maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't know um, how fast something like this would sell. It's kind of like. Uh, and I mean, we don't even know how to test it. So of course you'd be taking a chance, but. I mean, it's still in its original wrapping. It's weird. Yeah, like it's brand new, so. But you can see here, like, keep, you can actually print out your own cookie cutters. Like you can, you can print the craziest stuff out, you know? Wow. Uh, it's Look, a pen holder. Yeah, you can print this stuff. It's insane. Wow. You can literally print. I, I guess you can print anything as crazy. I don't know how it works, but that that to me is just so neat. Yeah, that's cool. And then we got our spatula score. <laughs> Everybody's asked for a spatula, but a lot of people. But I mean, how do we? I mean, just selling. I would not sell spatulas. Yeah, I mean, just <laughs> I. I mean. Maybe, you know, like even if we made them like 50 cents each, it just wouldn't be worth all yeah, the it's time. Not worth, it's not worth our while to go through all that over shipping. Shipping is just a lot of work and time. And we're getting tired of Elliot so. spanking us with them. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what to do with the spatulas. I say we take a couple, throw them in our survival trailer. A few of them, whatever. Hell, or all of them, I guess. We could use and them. And it's crazy because... We like, could use these for cooking when we're camping, you know. So. Nowadays, you can't even... I mean, I guess you can donate, but we see donation bins just sitting there completely ignored. Like, they don't even pick them up anymore. Like the, Yeah, it's like with this thing, everybody's... Now all the donations are getting rained on, and it's just like... The, there's the Yeah, even the thrift closed. stores are closed, so... So I guess they're stocking up for after the economy crashes. We have a ton of goldfish, a ton of Milanos, a ton of, I mean, shoot, survival cookies. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> survival cookies. I guess when you're really hungry. Survival cookies and a box of survival candles. And the last thing I'll show, What's trying, up, to, trying to move as quickly as possible, um, are these. They're so cute. And, and uh, people were saying that, um, you know, a lot, a lot of people just like to use them as like journals and uh, just writing down their th thoughts and, you know, I don't know. The, uh, they're really cute. They don't expire until the end of the year. And, and they all match. Like they're all the, they're all the same design. You got little calendars. You got the weekly notepad is so cool because there are no dates on it. So really, I mean, it's just cute stuff. And I figure we could put a, a couple of boxes together. You know, you could get like one of each. I think there's, oh, that's cute. I think there's like five different things, maybe six different things. Put a couple of these online, you know, you could sh sh send a media mail. Yeah, true. Anything that's a book. Yeah, with a cover and a back, right? Yeah. So if it has a book, more than I mean, if it has a cover and more than twelve pages and is bound at the at the uh, what do you call this the spine? Yeah. Whatever. You can send it media mail, and it's like half the price of regular mail. So. Um, oh, and the little uh, sewing machine. Oh yeah, the little sewing machine. I'm this thing so is cute. About that. This thing's kind of cute. Yeah. I'm really little, excited about little that. Little stinger. It's something I can practice on, and it's not like too. I can does it take batteries, or? Is I think it does. I think it, it has handheld a... cordless. Uh -huh. So either you charge it or it's battery. Well, that's cool. So I'd actually like to. So you could use that in the woods. <laughs> Sewing in the woods. <laughs> so I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about that. Well. I think that's it. I guess that's pretty much our haul from our dumpster dive, and um, I guess we'll figure out how we're going to do some boxes or whatever and throw some stuff together. 
Let's see know. what our dumpster crate's gonna be handy for. I'm gonna throw a bunch of canned food in here. Got some honey. Hey Holly, what's this teriyaki for? Is that for teriyaki squirrel? Yes. Teriyaki squirrel. Yep. We should probably get more stuff like that. Yeah. But I'm throwing all of our canned food in here. Refried beans, just uh, whatever. What is this? Tomato soup. Hey, just better safe than sorry, right? Especially with Elion, we do not want him starving. So this isn't only for bug out. This is just like literally for emergencies. Like if, if there's a day you go to the grocery store and there's no food in there when you go in there, stuff's gonna get real. I'm not saying that's gonna happen. I'm not real sure. I just know the economy is uh, in danger right now with all the business shut down. So just, you know, logically thinking, smart thinking, um, might just wanna get a tad bit prepared just in case. So just any kind of canned foods that'll last a long time you know, it's good to have put away somewhere, you know what I mean? Because um, people like us that aren't prepared, we can't can our own food, we can't do any of that. So we have no choice but to go to the store and just buy what we can. We've been taking different trips to the store and just getting a cart full and just trying to, just trying to prepare for worst case scenario. So I'm gonna load this thing up with all of our canned food, vegetable broth. Um, another good thing would be to plan ahead, maybe buy a few packs of toothbrushes for your family, just in case. Worst scenario, store shut down, toothbrushes, stuff like that. Just think about stuff you're gonna need. We'll put the tuna in one of these buckets. This is all gonna be heavy stuff. And make sure you have a bag of cookies for your kids. <laughs> Just in case, you know? You wanna keep your kids happy. And some fruit, pineapple slices are good. Stock up on um, mixed vegetables, definitely you wanna stock up. Um, spices, for sure, if you think you're gonna end up out hunting. You can get rid of that wild game taste a little bit. vegetables beans you can't go wrong with beans and rice oh and nuts can't go wrong with nuts what's in this one we got oh see this one's got a big bag of rice in here got what pea black eyed peas just you know Dang right. So we basically have a bucket of health right here. Rice and beans. All you have to do is add water and you can survive off of it. And this, the shelf life on this stuff is pretty much forever. You can put this stuff in this bucket and it'll still be good pretty much forever. And then we have two more buckets in there and a, one more is like this with like rice and stuff. So, and then this bucket will start throwing some of the softer stuff in it that needs to be protected. Cause those cans would cut these open. Like if they get shook around. So we want this stuff to not get damaged. And uh, Holly, she said, uh, if we get stuck in the woods, she wants to make sure that we can do a, uh, <laughs> a ramen noodle, spicy ramen noodle ramen. mukbang. <laughs> spicy noodle challenge. <laughs> spicy noodle mukbang challenge in, in the, the woods. woods. <laughs> anyway, hope y'all enjoyed our, uh, our cluster trailer cult invitation video. <laughs> but we're just kidding about the cult. But uh, we would like to maybe 
live in a village one day in the end times you know that would be cool Dang right. but um because you you can't do everything on your own you can't survive on your own you can go out in the out some people can i guess but not with a family well you it's definitely looking a lot better in here oh now to decide where to take all this stuff. Heavenly Father, where do we belong?